How about now? Now can you hear me? How about now? Now can you hear me? Okay, yeah, I think I can hear myself, so you guys can definitely hear me now. All right, awesome. All right, so what do you guys want to do here? Should we just do a regular one-on-one -on -one match to start off, or should we uh, try to do something else? I don't know. Maybe just a regular match to start off. Uh, there's an echo. Is the echo bad? Oh boy. Uh, this is a you. You got this. Is like you, we're behind the curtain a little bit here, folks. Uh, one v one just for the demo. Okay. No, there's no echo. All right. Cool. All right. Yeah. I think the echo that you heard was me trying to make sure that you can hear, and I was trying to watch on my iPad, and it's not important. All right. Here we go. So I put something together for you guys that it looks entirely ridiculous. So buckle up because <laughs> here we go. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, I mean, I think there's only one. Uh, it's only got to be there's only one, you know, person I should be fighting here today. All right. Oh, he's got one more up on me then. Oh my goodness. All right, what arena do we want here? I kind of want to go to ECW, but I mean that's just because I'm a mock. Uh, what else we got here? I mean, maybe we should do WrestleMania because it's a WrestleMania kind of deal. Uh, Halloween. Oh, I do like Halloween Havoc. Oh, these are all locked. Okay, I guess I gotta play through the thing in order to. Oh yeah, I purposely don't flex during the uh, during the headlock headlines. <laughs> All right, uh, you know what? Let's do Halloween Havoc because I am a WCW mock. Um, All right, let's do this. I tried to find, uh, you know, like a fur or something like that to like make the fur, but they are uh, they are not as uh, cool and fabricated Americans here apparently. Comes. I give him stud. I give myself stud. This is music. <laughs> I don't know why. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Asbury Park, New Jersey. I don't know why I picked Asbury Park, New Jersey. I think it's because I like Bruce Springsteen. Marvin, the monster. The WWE universe is on. I'm a massive Springsteen fan. They are ready for unapologetic high intensity action. I would be shocked if we saw yeah, and Bam Bam. Yes, I do like Bam Bam. Sort, Byron. Bam Bam Canyon DDP. That's a good wrestlers came out of there. All right. This is gonna be weird to see this entrance on a WCW set. Did somebody say Triple H? Yes, I agree. Canyon is most underrated ever. So, the King of Oh, Kings Seth, thank you. I'm ride. glad you find this tremendous. But yeah, he, I, he does have Dutch Mantel's mustache, doesn't he? At the top of this industry, heck, there is no mountain Triple H. You're not climb. even allowed to do video game matches without me, match Jabber Monster. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna drink my simulated water. And his opponent, representing yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna. Oh, apparently I'm not gonna do any of that shit. Okay. And things breaking down before the match even starts. I've had enough of this guy. At a certain point, you have to be ready for something like this. You get caught sleeping, you deal with the consequences. Oh, Out for the love, I was late. Okay. Right to the spine, and the referee is motioning for these superstars to get into the ring where this match belongs. The referee can come. I'm not sure, there's any reasoning with them at this point. All right, all right. Uh -oh. Just so you guys know, I have not played oh, a wrestling game like like well since SmackDown versus Raw, like 2007. So, Into the hammerlock. Oh boy. and there we go. Okay. These superstars are showing no concern for their own well-being. All that matters. He's not. Right now is you think I'm going to put over this jabber monster? Oh, turning the tides. There we go. There we go. That's for interrupting my show every week. You piece of shit. All right, come on. 
Old school god rails. I love it. Yeah, eat that. The game is one step ahead. Dragon twist cut. I have no idea what the heck that move even was, but I'm glad that I did it. <laughs> okay. All right, let's get you back. Let's get you in the ring so I can pin you. you can never really tell what his mission objective is. Here we go. That can't be easy. No one steps into the WWE. I think he was terrorizing. Triple H uh, might be one of the most difficult opponents to figure out, but it's not impossible. You got to do your research, study tape, and keep a level head all right. at all times. Let's see what kind of moves we're doing here. Oh, Shane Douglas. Even the old Shane Douglas. Yeah, that's right. And the WWE Universe is on his side. All right, what we got here? Need oh. I do like kicks. I do like kicks. You know, when I was an indie mock in the early 2000s, everything was all stiff kicks. Oh, everybody loved the low key stiff kicks. <laughs> Ate that. He's not so tough. Ah. I'm sorry, I don't mean to keep doing the same move over and over again. I'm just kind of figuring this out. All right, here we go. Oh, wow, that's going to break your legs. Okay. All right, here we go. Whoop. I do remember the one time you could claim well, I mean, he was I guess I think he was the big show you could plainly hear him going ball side slam trying to do as much damage as humanly possible but at what cost and now gets tossed into the ring all right let's see what we got here uh. butterfly double under hook up and Ooh, that's the Angel Wings. No, Christopher Daniels here. At this stage of the match, they are clearly starting to feel the effects. Stiff kicks. Oh, oh god, he just kicked me in the head. All right. Yeah, Yep. Shouldn't be showboating there, Hannah. What a maneuver. Ben Grimm meets Dutch Mantel. I love it. Set up in the corner of the ring. Oh, oh, there, oh, oh, I didn't know you could get into a tree of woe yet. He, why did he not do anything? No question my methods. Oh, wow, I just, I, I, I just went, I just went full indie on these, on him right there. I nipped up without selling at all. All right. Uh, indie, indie show. There we go. Oh, that was pretty cool. All right. Let's see. I wanted to finish it that I could just do to anybody, so. That ref went a little... Oh, come on. It's going to take more than that, Jobber Monster. Triple H is still in this one with that kick out. Just dished out his most devastating offense, and you got to be wondering... Oh. And, now he, and now he's... So he just kicked my finisher, and now he's doing a comeback. This really is an AEW match. He tended to Will Ospreay. Can I, like, plancha? Like, is that a thing I can do here? Oh, apparently not. Nope. Apparently I can't do that. A knee, oh god, knee drop to the outside. Okay. There we go. All right, your head is red, Hunter. There's no way that you're gonna. Oh, did I? Hold on, I think I think I got a finish from up here. Let's see. I spent entirely too much time making this character today. Yo, no, that, that did not happen. That did not happen. I do not job ever. Here is your winner, Marvin Hamas. 
There's got to be a bitter taste in Triple H's mouth after that defeat. It seems like Triple H just didn't have his head in this match tonight. And he I just like be a complete heel here. Okay, I don't even know how to get out of the ring, apparently. Look out! You gotta be kidding me! Ooh, that was interesting. Okay. Can I, like... Oh, very nice. Okay. Yeah, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. Come on. Get up. Get up for a furry taste of justice. There we go. Get up. Get up, you son of a bitch. Oh, the brutality of it all. Oh, I got it in the hand there. All right. Yeah, this is definitely for Sting. That, that's right, James. This is revenge for Sting. <laughs> you guys are killing me tonight. Did I just do like a kung fu like? Uh, let's see the highlight reel. I want to like catch the greatest hits. Oh yeah, there we go. The stunner and the frog splash. That that's the highlight reel, really. This Kevin Dunn is apparently back. Uh, here's an idea. So I went on Community Creations because I was looking for something very specific. Uh, so I'll, I'll, we could do something here real quick. Uh, we'll do a tag, a six-man tag. And we'll do... Oh, I do like SummerSlam 88. Uh, before I was watching, but... So we'll do me. Uh, yes, we're going to control the partners. Confirm. And then we'll we'll team me up with uh with my co-hosts here. Hold on, let me get trip. Triple H, yes. And let's do uh <laughs> All right. Who should we who should we face here? I mean SummerSlam eighty eight, I'm thinking Hogan, but who do you guys want to see us go against? The, the team Tony Town here. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god all right uh maybe uh maybe hogan i know that tony renda is hysterical i tried to upload a picture of me to go up there but it didn't work so um all right what we got here uh yeah maybe macho man Yeah, I live in the danger zone, brother. It's the cream of the crop rising all the way to the top. Yeah. Um, no, I, I, I don't have the heart today to punch Bray Wyatt because I just cried like a baby at his uh, whole thing. All right, so we'll do Hogan. We're not going to do old Hogan. We'll do, like, actual Hogan. The Mania 5 Hogan. And then... Uh, yeah, I, I don't have a Dave Meltzer, unfortunately. Um, you know what? I could probably find a Dave Meltzer if I looked at Community Creations. Uh, but I have not done that yet. Uh, should we should we put Bischoff in there just to, like, count it? Down? We got to put Bischoff in there, right? Like, we totally got to put Bischoff in there. Yeah, we're going to have to do Bischoff versus Tony next. <laughs> oh, God, oh, my God. All right, here we go. Look, he's got the money in his hand. This is ridiculous. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this is fun. We might have to do this more often, guys. 26 people watching. Welcome. Here we go, guys. Yeah, apparently you can. And I tried to do it earlier, but it wasn't working when I was doing it. So. Okay, what, what what's happening here? Oh my god, look at him. Look at him. That, the, the person that made this did a really good job. Like, holy crap. Did he say Tony Kwan? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. oh, this is amazing. Oh. 
Oh, here we go. TK, Tony Khan, wrestling savior, and he he's the ball. Yeah, he's tonight, and we'll it emphatically. Tony Khan, he's giving wrestlers hugs, and he might be on drugs. Yeah, he's TK. Wouldn't it be amazing if he's like, like wearing like a like almost like a woman's suit with the shoulder pads? His, if his finisher is not a bear hug, then whoever like did this has failed in some way. Who the hell is that in the ring? They let a fan into the ring. The WWE Universe is on their feet. Showing respect for the game. The cerebral assassin. Few men have hey, ever. Uh, could someone please talk to security? There appears to be a skinny, tweaked out fan at ringside. I have no idea who it is. Never seen this man before in my life. Representing the authority from British Connecticut. Oh, representing the authority. Oh, my glorious beard. You know, if anyone ever tried to recreate this glorious beard in a puppet, it would not be easy. Nobody. It would probably take a lot of work and then still not look right. Then the cerebral assassin. Well, think about it. Every tactic, every trick. This is some kind of make-a-wish thing. If so, we're doing a good thing today. Has mastered. Yeah, the game will stop at nothing. He'll use every tool at his disposal to win the matchup. Who the hell is that? Here we go. Did it in. Oh my god. Why are we still doing it? The Triple H voice. A truly devastating. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, and he's mastered how, when, and where to utilize it. Yeah, the pedigree almost always guarantees the end for Triple H's opponent. I guarantee Triple H already has plans on when to use it tonight. Who said to take the camera off of me? So we are going, you just mentioned Kratos. We are going to do a series called oh, Gaming yeah, with the Game. For this guy. And where I'm going to, I'm going to stream games and I'm going to do it as Triple H like for the entire time and uh the first one i want to do is god of war i gotta i need to do a better entrance i didn't like i spent like hours like building this character today and i was like man i really gotta like i did not have time to do the uh the whole entrance you show you but i mean look this is my regular voice so Yeah, we'll call it Champ of War or something like that. Oh, boy. All right, here we go. Look at dude. Look at Tony, like, getting ready. I guess it is, too. You know, I think I can edit that character. So I should probably, I should edit him to, like, give him, like, the one big eye and the one really, the one really small eye. And just squatch you guys are, you guys are assholes and I love it experience being booed out of the building while also receiving a hero's welcome not worried if people believe in him power in his convictions okay Let's see here. oh hey super chat thank you very much Colin you look like if Trump and Chewbacca had a kid but in a good way Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Thank you. You've Trump and Chewbacca had a kid, but in a good way. I, uh, good wave of macho madness carried him all the way into the WWE Hall of Fame. It was well done, Colin. Very well done. 
Oh, uh, here we go. Let me tell you something, brother. I was there when Bruiser Brody died. I stood over him. I pressed my hands into the wounds, and I said, Live, Brody. Live by the power of Hulkamania. You will live, brother. But then he died. He didn't believe in Hulkamania enough, brother. has already main evented multiple WrestleManias and even held the WWE title for over four years. Listen, brother, when I slammed that big stinky orange monster in front of 67 million people right there at SummerSlam 88, brother. Well, that's some impressive graphics there that we got the shirt rip and everything. WWE Universe on its feet for the immortal Hulk Hogan. And Michael, you can see exactly why Hulkamania will never die. You know, brother, Metallica came to me and they were like, Hulkster, brother, we need someone. We need a new bass player. And you're the only one that could do it. And I said, listen, dude, I can't. I'd love to do it. I'd love to go out there and shred with you Metallica bros. Oh. I love this so much. Hey, he was once in WCW's boardroom. He's now in the WWE Hall of Fame. Who would have thunk it? Well, meme yesterday, the resurrected Jesus Christ versus and Hulk Hogan saying that's not going to work for me, brother. <laughs> from Detroit, Michigan. Oh, uh, boy. 195 pounds, Eric Bischoff. Under his guidance, WCW and Nitro defeated Raw in the ratings for... Yeah, Hulk Hogan is going to be at WrestleMania 40, brother, and I'm sure he's going to get booed again, no matter whether or not they let him stand next to Titus O'Neil again. Listen, brothers, I ain't no racist, okay? I just can't tell the, any black guy apart from Zeus. He's always after me, that Zeus. He's a crafty one. He's always after me. He wants to come behind me and break my neck again. Ain't nothing racist about not wanting my neck broke, brother. Executives in sports entertainment history. That's always kind of been my like well, take on Hogan being racist. Right. I, I remember I, I said to a friend, I was like, maybe he just like thinks every black person is Zeus. And if you want to see Oh, Tony's starting out. Okay. It's true. Teamwork needs to be on point. Oh, <laughs> to I think Tony just <laughs> what the hell just side happened? Side, not switch sides, just to pin you. Oh, oh wow, okay, so Tooney is a little like oh prong hold up, okay. Very nice. I hate you! I was trying to hit Eric. Oh, I hate you! Oh boy. Oh God is reversing the Macho Man. This is the same amount of psychology. Okay, let's uh, do a double team. All right, whoever you are, I'll do a double team with you. All right. Come here, Savage. They finish each other's moves. That's tag team excellence right there. Oh, all right. Son of a bitch. Come here, you. It's a counter for Savage. <laughs> the thing about six man tag match all is right yeah I I think uh, whichever team can slow the pace and grind things to a halt might have the advantage here stay in control of the opposing team and style this match oh yeah all right come in oh yeah you know what it's, you know what time it is it's time for a triple h high spot Apparently not. Never mind. Ooh. Wow, Tony Khan's getting out. I mean, whoever that is, I, I don't know that it's Tony Khan. Forget my own jokes. Oh, oh well, that that was that was a mistake. I like how they don't just. Uh, I, I'm just doing it as Triple H. I like how they don't just run forever anymore. They just like actually like fall down after a while. Hold on, let me break this count. Uh, quads don't fail me now. 
Face first, here it comes. Bulldog. The hell do I get out of the ring? I'm just going to have to go off the... All right, breaking the count. Here we go. By the way, I love how his, his teammates are, like, not helping him. There we go. Oh. Ooh, no, no, no. Last time he beat me for the world title. <laughs> Hogan, Hogan goes right for Tooney. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not taking any of that. Oh, effective body blow. Oh, oh brother, my, my back. Yeah, Hogan's doing a drop down and a leapfrog. Okay. He's turning the tables. Dragon twist cutter. It's about as likely as me doing that. Into the corner, lands the knee. Stop it away. Uh, super chat, it Kenneth away. Douglas. Thank you. Love the content, mom, and keep up the great work. Triple H came out saying, "Welcome to the main event, job." Like, yeah, he certainly did. If I'm in the match, that means it's the main event. Dig down deep here. All right, you know, let's see what let, let, let's see what you got, Tony. I've got rage in my heart. Oh, <laughs> and much like in real life, Eric Bisch Eric Bischoff puts a stop to him. And that was a well executed attack. It's a reason why I banned you from AEW. Oh no! I can't actually do the Tooney voice without like, you know, help for oh, much like his Rasta, Tooney Khan just nipping up. Tony Khan whip off Hulk Hogan. <laughs> yep, that, that makes sense. I want easy E. <laughs> Once again, Bishop shuts him down. That's what you get for talking about me. Tony Khan doing the prong hold here yeah, is, I think, my new favorite thing. Tag it. Oh, uh oh. Oh no! Is he actually, like, in the AEW game? <laughs> Eric's, Eric's had enough. Oh, so, so is Tony Khan. All right. Oh, yeah, brother. Oh, going right for the cover, brother. Yeah, I'm not even giving him one. Is there a difficulty? I, I, I didn't even realize that there was like a difficulty level. I figured it was just on normal. What the hell? What the hell just happened? We get another Hogan drop down leapfrog. Oh, what a hip toss. Oh, and a close line. I will not lose this match. Do not lose this match for me, Jabber Monster. Hoist it up. Here he comes off the tag. Uh, I've got no desire to hit Eric. You're in. Leaping into the wheelbarrow, up and around into the DDT. It's like I almost like don't. Oh well, let's see what his finish is. I can't wait to see what this is. Look at him with his little arms. Oh, whoever made this is so funny. Oh, okay, sliced bread. That wasn't bad. Thank, thanks, Trip. You really got in here at the right time. Oh, I keep doing that same move. I gotta, like, bury it up. All right. Okay, I'm gonna come in here now and fix the issues here. Oh. <laughs> 
I swear I didn't do that on purpose. And you got to admit now, Savage clearly struggling the further things get into this match. Yeah, they stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. Brutality. All right, come on, let's get to that finisher. Shane Douglas, there we go. Boom! Things are going sour for the Macho Man, and Savage needs to tap back into his intensity. Is it enough? The cover! Two! And All right, there we go. I just noticed that because we're at SummerSlam 88, the referee is in like the old school. Oh my god, Leah, look. Hey, calm down, kid. Calm down. I don't know who this kid is, but. Me, 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 me. There we go. Toony, Team Toonytown Wrestling standing tall. All right. Oh, Colin Taylor, Super Chat. Thank you. TK's roster is like his ticks. They never sell. That was a good one. Well done. Let's see. Did I miss any other Super Chats? Kenneth Douglas. Love the cut. Yeah, I read that one out. Uh, Colin. Yep, I think that's all of them. Unless I missed one from earlier. Um, okay. All right. So what do you guys want to see next? What should we do here? Also, let me know if anything fun is happening on Raw because I'm like not watching it right now. Should we try to do some WrestleMania stuff? Should we try to, you know, maybe do the My Rise thing? Stop playing through that? I don't know. I'm leaving it up to you guys. We could even go through Universe mode. I don't know. Uh, showcase. Do the showcase. Okay. Axiom was the first one to respond, so. Oh my god. Okay, so that's just like straight up Corey Graves. Okay. On this night, the industry stopped and held its collective breath. Would WrestleMania live up to the hype? Would sports entertainment, the flawless mixing of WWE superstars with Well, I think I could do my rise with my created character. Prove to be a hit with the fans. Yeah, AW release one of the Dark Order members. I, I didn't hear that. Which one? I mean, not that anybody, I very much appreciate you. Stu Grayson. I, I don't. The, the only Stu that I know is Stu Pickles. Event of the year in he hasn't been around much since he had a baby. It is constantly grown, pushing the industry to the limits with every. Uh, let's see. Shame the dog order for. Uh, broken, and then broken again. I just create the. Yeah, I it's think I could do my rise with with myself. The dreams that burn in those who hope to one day compete. Okay, is he gonna just like sit here and bloviate about? Simply based on the results. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine when I'm not facing a real person. Yes, we get it. WrestleMania is big. Oh, they're showing Ronda, really. Okay. All right, so this is working pretty well. Like, we, we might have to actually, like, you know, make this a regular thing. 32 e in here, too. That's pretty great. Into the monster two day extravaganza that fills Mammoth Stadiums with people traveling from all over the world to be there. At WrestleMania. All right. Ronda Lousy. I like that. Well, I, you know, to be fair, they shipped this game before Ronda started doing what she was doing. I'm Corey Graves, and I'd like to welcome. Yes, hello, Corey. I know. I know who you are. Showcase of the Immortals. Here we will spotlight some of the biggest, <clears throat> craziest, most jaw-dropping, action-packed matches in WWE history. It'll be on you to retrace the historical footsteps by way of our showcase objective. Now my rise is undisputed. So you know, unleashed is the female year, one. Okay. Yeah, the female one starts on the indies, doesn't it? Like that. That, that, that sounded yeah. interesting. Yes, uh, Corey definitely went a little too far with the hand and neck tattoos. I agree. All right, welcome to the 2K showcase of the Immortals. Looking back at nearly 40 years of WrestleMania, winning is great, but completing objectives yields the biggest rewards. Okay. Oh, okay. We're starting here. All right, Ricky Steamboat and Macho Man. 
I guess we're going to do this. Here we go. The first WrestleMania set the stage for everything that was to follow. All the way around the world. Did they have to, did they have to blur out Madison Square Garden there? They're blurring out people's faces. Did they, did they blur out Mean Gene's face? the boundaries, taking place in three different locations. York, yeah, WrestleMania Chicago, 2 was a was Los abysmal. So I, I actually just had to watch WrestleMania 1 for a, a video I'm doing this week. Oh man, is that rough to get through. And for our first match of the 2K24 showcase of the Immortals, we go into the first verified WrestleMania classic. Houdini, I don't I don't know how how true that could possibly be, because that would mean that he had him doing everything that he was doing before he went out on injury without a contract, but like without having him locked in for the future, and that would just be the stupidest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> now, Mean Gene didn't do anything bad, but with the video game rights, I'm assuming that like if they showed Mean Gene in the video game, like they'd have to pay them if they appeared in the game. Yeah, they don't want to pay royalties, so they blur faces, yeah. Well, you know what, then I'm glad that means that George Steele's family probably got a paycheck. Wait, they're blurring out the WWF logo, like, that's not even the logo that they didn't like. Did 2K14 not have uh, the Andre Hogan? These questions would be answered over the next 15 grueling minutes. And when it was over, everyone in attendance and those watching at home knew they had been a part of something special. The two superstars. I feel like Corey Graves has been talking for an extremely long time. I mean, it's, a, it's a great for me to get caught up on the chat and, you know, take a look at Super Chats, but, like, okay. Okay, here we go. I'm assuming I'm going to be Steamboat here. All right, for help completing on objectives, go to the objective checklist in the pause menu. Uh, okay. Taunt Macho Man while you're both in the ring or on the apron. All right. You've just been taunted. Oh, never mind. You were not taunted yet. Black suplex. Oh, no, it's going to be an atomic drop. Okay, cool. And you've just been taunted. Successfully taunted. Uh oh. Quick strike lightning combo will keep you in control. End your combo with square for light combos. Okay. All right. Oh, I should probably focus on the fact that he's beating me up. Oh, that would not be good. All right. I like the way he's, like, selling, like, in the corner like that. That was pretty cool. All right, here we go. Get the dodge or counter three times two, okay. Two, three, four. There we go. Reverse block or break three of his attacks, okay. There we go. There's one reversal. Uh, that's two, actually, okay. See if we can go for number three here. Nope, apparently not. Oop, we're... It's not as we rehearsed it, Randy. Oh, crap. Okay, that was almost bad. I forgot about the stupid... I, I hate button mashing things. Does that count as reversing something? No, I guess not. I do like that move. Let's go. Come on. Let's go, asshole. Throw something so I can reverse you. There we go. Get Macho Man trapped in the southeast corner facing you and hit him with a huge heavy attack. Okay. I'm assuming this is the southeast corner over here. Oh, all right. We're getting a little cut. Oh, God. Corey Graves advance. It was like a choreographed dance, essentially. Letting you know that Savage understood he was and uh, you know, Steamboat didn't like that because him and Flair would go out there and just call on the fly for all right. Time to get some revenge, do some damage, switch with the pace with a heavy combo to knock him back. All right, one, two, three, four. There we go. I just have a little time for a breather by sending Macho Man to the floor with a strong Irish whip. All right. 
right, let's buy ourselves some time here, I guess. There we go. Did that count? Oh, nope, apparently not. All right. What the hell just... What the hell was that? Okay, man, yeah, now that should be what we just needed to do. Oh, a little taste of your own medicine there, okay. What's this finish in? This is going to be the cross-face chicken wing? I really don't like submission finishes in video games. Oh, crap. All right. Not even taking the two count. I know it's not very good psychologically of me, but... What are we doing here? Now hit him with a light combo in the middle of the ring. End your combo with... Square, okay. The Macho Man was trying everything. Oh, welcome back, Corey. Fighting dirty, but Steven Savage's some point. frustration led to him. You'd have to have Ted DiBiase Jr. back to do that, wouldn't you? Like, wasn't he part of that? And I'm pretty sure he's uh, otherwise engaged on a government-sponsored vacation at the moment, isn't he? Uh, he's a dragon, right? To fly at the Macho Man, and then he dive off the top rope. Okay. Once you got Savage down, connect with three big grounded attacks. Right, let's do this. One. Two. Oh, okay. He didn't want that one. Oh, well, that... There we go. Go to late again. Ah, here we go. Did Steve do a reverse DDT? He can't hit the elbow drop if he can't. He can't hit the elbow drop if he can't climb. Take out Macho Man's leg with a single leg Boston grab. Ah, two and oh. Right. Grab combo. Hold on. A grab combo will have him right where you want him. And your combo with O for a grab. Uh, a cycle. Oh, I'm calling it O. Yeah, I'm not even letting you get one, brother. I ain't putting you over. Ah, doing that move again. I'm sorry. I keep doing the same moves over and over again, I feel like. Uh... Oh, boy. Maybe I should not have come out here. Three. Grab combo. Yeah, this match just went hardcore. In the southwest corner with an Irish whip. Okay. First, let's get him back in the ring. Oh, okay, get in the ring, Randy. For the love of God. Oh, if I lose to a friggin' count out now. Stupid son of a bitch. All right, there we go. No, corner. Uh, all right, let's get him back in. Ah, oh, crap. Wait, what am I doing? Oh, all right. There we go. Southwest corner. No, stop straightening yourself out. 
Damn you, Ricky Steamboat, and your excellent ring awareness. No, wrong. All right now, I'm getting annoyed. He's going to hit the damn elbow on me now. Son of a... Still not, still not selling for you, Randy. Danhausen confirmed to be let go, really? Well, that is definitely something today. Now, do you think uh, Danhausen is now a villain to the internet wrestling crowd because Tony let him go, or do you think they're going to actually give Tony the business? Oh, come on! Why can't I get him in this corner for the love of God? Oh, he's going for the damn elbow. God damn it. He's rolled me right into the ropes, ref. Is that not in the ropes? Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch! Started focusing on Danhausen for a second. I blame him. Well, history has just been changed, folks. He'll be the villain when he joins WWE, so he'll never be the villain. I can't believe I just lost this match. Well, apparently I unlocked things, so... Do I have to do that again, or can I, like, just move on? Damn it, apparently I have to do it again. He's not going to WWE. They're never going to take him. There's no way. We're going we're gonna to bypass Corey Graves here. Set the stage for All right, shut up. Exactly, I was cursed by that. I can't believe I'm doing this again. It's a stupid taunt. Oh, God damn it. At least on the indies, he can actually, like, be on shows and work. Triple H with a clown fetish. Oh, man, every time I saw Doink come to the ring, man, just... Hello, sailor. Right at attention. I can't even go to McDonald's without, you know, well... You know. Maybe that means that Jericho's, uh, you know, power is waning. Yeah, I don't think so either. Do something so I can reverse it. Thank you. Ugh, again with this. Ah, finally. Thank you, whoever told me how to do that. Oh, for the love of God, just oh, bloodline rules. I, that that was so weird when they were. Yeah, thank you, uh, Michael Pia. It was so weird when he's like, "How about Seth Rollins voice The Rock?" And the whole crowd was like, "Oh my God!" And so then he's like, "Oh, Roman Reigns." And they're like, "Okay, that's not as like big, but it's still something." And then it's like, "No, nah, how about Solo Sokoa?" And it was it went over like a font in church. <laughs> All, right. All right, asshole, you're going in the corner. No, not. Okay, 
why can't I put him in the corner? Stop going to the outside. I'm getting really, really annoyed. Thank you, finally. It was all, all right, welcome back, Corey. Rang, and these two didn't give each other a second to rest. Heavy combo, all right. There we go. Boy, oh, that's Irish whip crap. Nasty boys will beat the bloodline. That would be something, wouldn't it? That would probably mean Hogan's back. Oh, god damn. Imagine Ricky Steamboat actually eating an elbow drop to the outside like that in like 1980, whatever. Oh, just get in the ring, Randy. As long as you follow me in the ring, I'm okay with this. There we go. Down, down. I believe we have, do we have a top rope finishing here? No. Alright. Alright. Let's see what finish we got. If it's the crossface chicken wing. I mean it's gotta be. What else is it? What yep, there we go. I'm the worst at button mashing. This is a really weird reversal. I don't understand it. The Macho right. Man was trying everything. Thank you again. Thank you again, Corey. Three big grounded attacks. One, two, and three. Nope, he's gonna carry me. Okay. Thank you. They got Macho Man's leg. Uh, damn it. As I'm picking him up. Should have just remembered that. Ah, uh, two, and oh, uh, okay. Damn it. Axiom. Uh, not too hard for me. I am just apparently really bad at it. <laughs> Jesus, what the hell? All right. Like I said, wrestling games, I have not played a wrestling game in God knows how long. The only reason I was able to get this one is it's a business expense. I talked myself into it. That's not to say I don't game. Like, I game all the time. Like, what, I just sunk, like, several, you know, a lot of hours into uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. There we go. 
I'm sure I can get I could find a pretty good cornet in uh, community creations. AW released ten wrestlers and maybe eleven. Ten? They released ten? They did a spring cleaning? No way. All right, this is where we were the last time. Southwest corner. There we go. Our right. jokes about gravity. Okay. All right. So we did everything here, right? 14 out of 14. All right. Next match. Thank you very much. The clash will measures. But when the dust had settled and after the smoke had cleared, after Steamboat was... We Who ended up beating Steamboat? I don't even... Was it... Was it uh, Honky Tonk Man? Featuring two of WWE's biggest stars at the time, this was the headliner. No way. Those 90, people together in Who? Are, are you... Are you... Are you, yeah, like, yeah. lying right now? They released negative one? Because if they actually released negative one, that's... Holy hell. There's nothing else in this world like... There's no way they actually... You, you're joking, right? For years. Andre famously poured the bubbly all over Hogan when he captured the WWE Championship in January of 1980. Yeah, I thought it was Honky Tonk. The two were nearly inseparable from then on. The two would be presented with... I know, with, with everyone being blurred weeks, out, it's like, why are you even putting real footage? For, years. for both ceremonies, Andre was not his usual self. First noting to Hogan that three years... If he, act, if he actually... Uh, edge, to see a Brody Lee? Next. Soon after, Andre would appear with Bobby the Brain Heenan. Wait, that would be something... Take a sip of drink. Keenan had gotten to Andre, fanning the flames of resentment. I love an Andre's face. sweat stains on his shirt. Once in your life, offer him a championship match. A heartbroken Hogan tried to reason with his friend, but with one move, yanking Hogan's chain from his neck, it was clear there was no turning back. I'm gonna need confirmation on the negative one thing. Getting in the ring with Andre the Giant. Oh, he was 800 pounds, brother. He was 800 million pounds, and there were 80 million people there, brother. You're outmatched, you're outsized, you're outpowered. It's an uphill battle, so you have to fight from underneath. You have to have Unko Scorched Earth on AEW. Tony finds a bunch of people, including someone who is uh, out on injury with a broken jaw. The crowd reacted. 94,000 people lost their breath and gasped at the same time. It overwhelmed me in the ring. It's etched in stone. It's just overwhelming. And then he died the next day, brother. I slammed him. I slammed him on the ground, and then he died the next day. He did say that one day. He said that Andre died, like, soon thereafter. I'm like, he was around, like, WrestleMania 6. The irresistible force meeting the immovable object. All right, let's see what we got here. It felt like time stood still once the bell rang. And Hogan and Andre approached each other in the center of the ring. Andre looks a little it weird here. Finally here, the reason all these people were in the arena, the dominant three-year WWE champion and the man nearly losing the match in the process. Could Hogan slam Andre? Would he try it again? Did he hurt his back or his knees in that failed lift? I don't know, Corey. Andre, Why don't you let me play the game and I'll find out? And get back on the task of taking out the Hulkster. 